What's up guys, it's your boy Itchy and I wanted to do a few videos showing you the full process of how I'm going to overclock my new Hackintosh and actually showing you the install, um, a fresh install of using, using a thumb drive uh, with or a flash drive, however you want to say it, with Unibeast going all the way through Multibeast going all the way to a finished product. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to tell you is I'm using the i3 3770K uh, process and I'm using the Gigabyte uh, GAZ77X-UP5TH motherboard and I'm using both of those in conjunction because they've been proven to just work and the system definition that we're going to end up installing is that of the 2012 uh, iMac 27 inch so let's jump right in first thing that we need to do in order to get this uh, process rocking is, is we got to turn the system on and with the gigabyte motherboard really probably with any any setup you use that has this particular um, architecture you want to have a wired keyboard and a mouse so you can just drive the BIOS once you get down to it so the first thing we're gonna do for my, for my motherboard is F12 but we're gonna turn the power on and we're gonna hit F12 to try and boot this thing and see what we end up with and hopefully we have good results Let's see what we end up with. First thing it should probably tell us to do is to load the optimized defaults. We're going to do that. Then we're going to go here. Now I already had built a, a partition drive with uh, that I could boot from called Icebox, but I'm going to go back in and do it all over for you. So we're going to start with the OSX booter. Um, generally what will happen is, is that you'll be able to boot from, by holding F12, you'll get a selection of different drives that you could boot from. And based on whatever information, whichever drive it is that you put your, your uh, information on, it'll show up in your list as a USB drive. And all you have to do is scroll down to it and hit enter and go from there. Now in my case, I just found it a lot easier and a lot quicker to do this install with my graphics card pulled out because it just works a lot better to do it, everything uh, on the motherboard. All right, guys, so check it out now. We're at the screen to start installing uh, Mountain Lion. So we're just going to go through and get ready to get it rolling. First thing you want to do is if you have a fresh uh, hard drive, I don't, uh, but I'm going to make it fresh. You would go up here before you hit continue. You go to Dish Utilities. And once you go to Dish Utility, you would find that, that hard drive. Now, in my case, I'm going to erase it first. I could have just went ahead and partitioned, but I'll erase it because it doesn't take long to do that at all. It's finished already because the only thing that was on it was the install. Then I'm going to go to partition. I'm going to select one partition. I always going to hit an option to check. I want to make sure that this particular um, drive is slated as a um, GUID partition table, which is good, not a master boot record, which I had to do for my thumb drive in order to boot uh, Mountain Lion. Uh, next thing we want to do is name this thing. I'm going to name it something different just to make sure. And everything looks good. So I'm going to apply and I'm going to do the partition. When it's finished, it'll show up over to the left and it has shown up. And I'm finished with this part. So next thing we're going to do is go to continue. We're going to agree. We're going to select the drive that we're looking for. We're going to do an install. This is going to take about 15-18 minutes. Once this is finished, we'll let the full install go through. Then we'll talk some multi-beast. Once we're finished talking multi-beast, we'll talk some BIOS and we'll be finished for tonight. Alright guys, so check it out. We're at the point now where all we got to do is go through and select some standard information. You guys have seen this before. This is stuff we need to do in order to get the Mac up and running. This is standard operation within the Macintosh computer. I'm going to go through here and knock all this out when I'm finished with all these forms. I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I just booted everything up. The next thing we want to do is go to system preferences right off the bat and go to securities and we want to make sure that we can actually download and use files off of the internet. So, we're going to change that setting to anywhere, allow We'll lock this window back. Now we can download stuff from the internet. Next thing that I need to do is get my boot drive going. We're going to go in here and we need to look for multi-beast. And there's a couple things in this multi-beast folder. 
couple things that we're going to be using. So we'll take those in stride. First thing we're going to do is go in here and set up our actual multi beast. And the first thing we need to do is do use a DST. Then the next thing that we'll do is go into our driver setting. We're going to audio. We're going to real tech. We'll go into the without tab and we'll go to the ALC 898 and the reason I'm doing that one is because that is my audio driver for my specific motherboard you guys need to look and find out what your audio driver is for your board so you'll make sure you make the right selection next thing we're going to do is go down to disk and we'll go to third party SATA which is what we need the next thing we're going to do is do a trim enable and that is up under trim somewhere right here and we want to enable it and we want to do it for uh, versions 10.8.1 or higher because we're installing version 10.8.2 the next thing we want to do is go into miscellaneous and we want to install a fake um, SMC plugin which is cool there next thing we want to do is go down to network and we want to install this Intel deal here the next thing we want to do is go down to customize and we want to go to system definitions this will tell our system and about this Mac what kind of system we're running and we want to do the latest greatest iMac so we're going to go to iMac and we're going to go to either one of these 12.2 um, I'm going to go to just to be on the safe side 13.1 and we should be good to go so everything there looks pretty complete um, the next thing we're going to do is go to continue install we're going to do our password and we'll let it do its thing Oh, sorry about that kicking the camera guys um, once that is finished we've got a couple more steps to do a couple of things we need to install yet um, as soon as it's finished I'll show you guys